Glory to God, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. You're welcome to this prophetic encounter. Please let us pray. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for everyone joining. I pray, O oh God, that as they receive this word, your grace will come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace that will enable them to be effective in every divine assignment. I decree over your life, you will not fail God in the name of Jesus. You will not fail God. In the name of Jesus, if you're joining us for the first time or your family, this session is special and you are special. God orchestrated this event for you. This is the word that you need to set your life on a new course. So you're welcome to this prophetic encounter. Please make sure you listen to every part of this message. Make sure you get it in full. Receive the prayers that come at the end. And God bless you as you like and share and subscribe if you're joining us new. What is our word for today? The Lord says I should tell somebody, God's purpose will be accomplished with or without you. The purposes of God will be accomplished with or without you. I want you to understand that the gifts of God, the callings of God, the assignment that you have received from God is not a burden. Rather, it is a privilege. There were many other people God could have called. There are many others that God could have entrusted this task to, this assignment to, this vision to, this idea to, this opportunity to, but he entrusted you. He chose you. He called you. He assigned you to the task. He gave you the vision. He gave you the divine idea. I need you to know that the purposes of God can be accomplished with or without you. That is why you must count every opportunity, idea, calling, purpose that God gives you as a privilege. The Bible makes us to understand clearly that if you deny an assignment from God or you fail him in the task that he has assigned you to do. He would raise up another person from another place to carry out that assignment because the purposes of God must be accomplished. If he chooses you and you fail him, he is just going to raise someone else who can do that. You should consider it a privilege, one that should not be wasted. The scripture recounts a story in the book of Esther chapter 4. It tells us that Haman had risen up against the Jews and he wanted the Jews to be slain. He got a decree from the king saying, let us kill the Jews. Now Mordecai, who was the uncle of Queen Esther, sends word to Esther requesting that she should go to the king and plead on on behalf of her people. But Esther sends word back to her uncle saying, I do not have the right to just go before the king. This is not something that I can do. I am going to encounter problems. It might be so bad that I can even lose my life. They can kill me for coming into the presence of the king without his permission. And Mordecai says something in verse 14 of Esther chapter 4, which is my focus. He tells Tells Esther, if you choose to stay silent at a time like this, relief and deliverance is going to come from another place, but you and your father's house will not escape. And then he asked, who knows if you were put in a royal position for such a time as this? Who knows if you were put in that office for such a time as this? Who knows if God placed you in the life of that person for such a time as this? Who knows if God gave you that assignment, that divine idea for such a time as this. You cannot minimize the calling of God. You cannot minimize any assignment from God to you. You cannot minimize any divine idea that comes to you. You cannot minimize any opportunity that comes to you. It is a privilege from God and you must treat it as such. It is a privilege from God and if you deny night or you chose to feel God, he would raise help. He would raise deliverance. He would raise up someone from another place to accomplish that task because the purposes of God must be accomplished irrespective of who is doing it. If you fail to avail yourself, God is always going to make someone else available. 
But I would advise you that you make yourself available for every task that God wants to assign you to, for every divine idea, for every purpose, for every divine assignment. And as you make yourself available, I pray that God will use you to do great things in the name of Jesus. God will use you to do great things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.